Hello everyone, so now we will look for generating alerts for strategy. Just select here for strategy. One way to identify the strategy is, if it is showing the backtesting report, in strategy tester then it is a strategy, otherwise it is an indicator. And another way is, so in create alert, if I select strategy, it will not ask me for buy or sell. But if it is an indicator, then it will ask me for a buy or sell condition. So this is the way to identify. Again, just select the symbol here. Then, here is the exit strategy type. So, basically, there are three types of strategies. So if there are multiple exits, then you have to select yes. If a strategy has multiple take profit and stop loss levels, we don't allow you to select risk parameters. But even in that case, you can automate your strategy with pick my trade. The stop loss and take profit orders should come from TradingView, which means you need to define them directly in your strategy script. Pick my trade will simply execute those orders exactly as they're sent from TradingView. But if we select no, then here it will allow me to pass the risk parameter. So here I will select yes, and again it will ask me for take profit and break even type. So here are five types that we support. Point in dollar, percentage, price, ticks, total profit, or loss. So, let's learn them one by one. Here are the calculations for the particular things, but let us understand it. So here, we have set an entry stop loss in USD for one point. So it is calculating as, entry stop loss point is 1. The lot size of NQ is 20, and the quantity we have taken is 2. Therefore, 1 into 20 into 2 is equal to 40. So this is all about the point in dollar. Now, let's learn about percentage. So, let's say your entry fill price is $100, and you set stop loss in percentage as 1%. So it will calculate the 1% of $100. Oh, if we set stop loss as 1 and take profit as 2. So stop loss will get placed on 99. And take profit will be placed at 102. Then, next comes the price. Oh, in price, we allow you to pass your trading view variable. Some people ask us if then can pass any variable. So you cannot pass any other variable if we go through their documentation. Here are some variables mentioned which are only allowed to be passed here. You only can pass from plot underscore 0 to plot underscore 19, and you have to make changes in your Pine script to add the plot. So whatever variable you pass first, it will be accessible as plot underscore 0. And the next one will be at plot underscore 1. Next comes ticks. So, let's say I place 10 ticks stop loss and 20 ticks take profit. So if we look for NQ, the tick size is 0.25. So the calculation goes like, 10 ticks stop loss we passed. 2 is the quantity. 0.25 is the tick size for one tick, and 20 is the lot size. So stop loss for two contract is going to be $100, and same for the take profit. So the take profit will be at $200. The last one is total profit or loss. So if I place $10 for two contracts, the stop loss is going to be $20. Here is the calculation for it. Now if you want to place break even, so just come to break even settings. Then break even type is also taken from here only. So here you have to enter the profit amount for break even, how much profit in your favor before moving stop loss to break even price. So if we place $100, so in this case, how much point movement is going to be there is calculated here. If we check it after generating the alert, here you can see break even is at 5. So whenever your profit moves in 5 points in your favor, then your stop loss is going to move into break even price. The break even price should always be less than the take profit. Now we will learn about trailing stop loss. Here, you have to select yes. Then it will ask you if you want to give trail value in points or ticks. So, let us go with the points. I place 5 here, 10 here, and 15 here. So what would it do? If we go for trail stop loss value, as we put here 5. And let's say your entry price is $100, so your stop loss is going to be placed at 95. Now it's time for trail trigger value. This is basically used for activating the trigger. As we have put here 10, whenever the market moves $10 in your favor, then the trail is going to get activated. Let's say our entry price is $100. So when it moves to 110, then the trail gets activated. But this works for the first time only. And as the market moves $10 in our favor, previously our stop loss is at 95, which then moves to 105. Now let's see for trail frequency value, here, as we have put 15. So it will trigger the trail after every $15 movement. As our trigger got activated at 110, then after $15, Mean at 125 it will trigger the trail. Now, the stop loss here will maintain the $5 distance as the market moves. Now let's see for the ticks. So let's understand with the same values. If we talk about the NQ, the tick size for NQ is 0.25, so according to this, 10 ticks means 2.5. Let's say our entry got filled at 100, so when it will move $2.5 in your favor, then your trail will get activated. 
So if the market moves to 102.4, then nothing will happen, and when it moves to 102.5, the trail got activated. And here, after every 15 tick movement in your favor, the trail will get triggered. Here, as you put in the value, it will show you the calculations. Here we have video tutorials for those things, so you can watch it. So, in the account section, what happens is it allows you to specify multiple accounts in which you want to place trades in. One can be your sub-account, under your current Tradivate login, and another case would be you have your friends or family members' accounts. So come here and click on Add Account. So here are two options, Add Sub-Accounts to Existing Tradivate Login, and another one is to add an account in another Tradivate Login. So in the first case, you just need to select the Tradivate Login from the drop-down and Quantity Multiplier, and Add Account. And in another case, you need to put your friend or family member's Pick My Trade Token and their account name, put the quantity multiplier and add the account. Then you can click on generate alert. And that's how your alert is going to get generated. So just copy this code, go into trading view, select the strategy, and paste the code here. Copy the webhook URL from here and paste it in the notification here. And just create the alert.